Good evening and welcome to the Bangladesh TV English News Service. Good evening to you all. We have news from Europe, the Czech Republic, where the largest and the oldest garment factory was demolished today. The factory manufactured clothing since 1910. A complex of six buildings covering 45,000 square meters fell within 90 seconds. OP Prostave factory was one of the last thriving garments enterprise in Europe yet been liquidated. Surely you will remember the catastrophe that took place near our capital city a year ago. On April 24, 2013, an eight-story building collapsed in Savar, near capital Dhaka, killing more than 1,100 people, injuring 2,500 and leaving at least 800 children or hand. Rana Plaza had been briefly shut down right after cracks appeared in walls and pillars, but factory workers were forced to go back just minutes before the building collapsed. The management then blackmailed the workers if they refused to go to work, not to be paid the two-month salary refusing not to go back to the factory. The rescue operation took nearly three weeks. Workers in Rana Plaza had made clothes for popular western brands such as Benetton, Mango, Reserve, care for and others. The disaster highlighted the hazardous conditions workers have to face in Bangladesh 16 billion euro garment industry where many are paid as little as 1 euro per day. Is our cheap labor threatening European workers? Was the largest European garments factory destroyed because of the Bangladeshi competition and its cheap labor? What the Czech lad of workers thinks about this all? Our special reporter went to find the context. Here is her story. It was unbelievable. Simply, it was just unbelievable. Well, I cried. That was a feeling. It was like nobody cares for you anymore. Behind me, we can see the remains of this solid garments factory, which the Czech people allowed to demolish. And whereas Rana Plaza in Safa, due to wrong construction, demolishes itself. What irony! Until the very end, nobody believed it would end up this way, although OP has moved out and closed down for business. Everyone believed that something at least would resume and continue. Probably there were not enough orders and they had too many employees so they were gradually firing them until the company went bankrupt completely. I am in front of the main building. Here is the entrance where every day thousands and thousands of workers entered their workplace. We have sewn suits for Mr. President Havel and for the First Lady, Mrs. Dagmar, so I believe that OP was a prestigious brand. It is truly pitiful that it's all gone, that it has all been demolished and today people are unemployed. They owe me compensation in the value of a three-month salary. I think they should deal with the people who had to live without compensation and who had even larger amounts of money there. I think that the management of the company is responsible for all this. They had embezzled all the money. You could say stole or I don't know how to describe this. It is true that those companies which profit from the garment industry tend to move the production from Europe to Asia, where due to worse working conditions they make bigger profit. However, it then affects Europe where workers lose their jobs. I don't know if clothes are being imported from Bangladesh. I have not been interested that much in this issue. But I really like what you wear. I guess it's more profitable to import it rather than to produce it here. I think that the solution is to abide to the principles agreed by the UN countries. Unfortunately, in United Nations, the Czech Republic has voted against the agreement ensuring human rights respect in countries where Western corporations operate. It would also ensure that the same working conditions as they are in the Western world would be applied in the so-called third world countries. The management of the OP Prostyov is facing 10 years imprisonment. However, it will be decided by the court. 
BTV Bangladesh from Prashop, Czech Republic, Nadira Mojumdar. After a meeting of the world's largest retailers in Geneva, in aftermath of the Rana Plaza collapse, four companies made contribution to a compensation fund for victims and their families. In Czech Republic, there were no victims. However, no compensation were made to the workers yet. Moving on. A young man was killed in Dhaka Zoo trying to feed a tiger. Tiger carried the body in his jaws while visitors took pictures and filmed it on their mobile phones.